Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope. And today's Tuesday talking, um, I kind of want to be frank with those people that are watching me, and there's not very many. I don't have very many viewers anymore, and I don't know if I've just bored you all, or if my being honest about specific things has been an issue. Um, when I first introduced myself, um, like the very first introduction video I did, I let everyone know who I was and what I was about. It progressively, I let you know when I was not so happy with people, and later on, I made a video and I talked about how I felt regarding some situations with couponing that really made me angry. And if you can't handle honesty, then what can you handle? Because if you're not wanting to deal with honesty and reality, then um, all I can say is this is not the world for you. Because if you're hiding behind something or if you're lying about things, that's no way to live. But I want to tell you something about honesty. I witnessed honesty in its purest form yesterday at work by a gal um, and I was very impressed when she came forward with honesty because she could have annihilated me. She could have really caused me some issues at work. Um, Saturday there was a confrontation. Um, I was involved but I did not um, I did not react in a manner that was told to our bosses when the situation happened. I didn't react that way. And yet it was given to them as if both of us were in the same realm of action with the situation. Um, yesterday, of course, we were called into our manager's office, who is the big guy for our department, and I was terrified because I do not like anything to go on my records. I don't, I don't like that, you know, because I go to work to work. I like to have a good time. I like to treat my coworkers really well. You know, I make sure that if they want products, that I make sure I give them the best deals they can possibly get. I'm constantly taking stuff in for them. And, you know, um, I do raffles for them. We cook. We do pitch-ins. I try really hard to keep the morale up, even though we're in a very high turnover um, job employment situation. Um, I try to keep everybody happy. I take in candy. You know, I do whatever I can to try to keep everybody happy. And yesterday, when it was brought to my attention that it was told to other supervisors, our supervisors, that I was part of the conflict in a very loud and boisterous way, I was traumatized because I was not, you know, um, I just, I just wasn't. So I was very, very, um, proud of this woman for coming forth and saying it was me because according to everyone else, it was both of us <laughs> and it wasn't. So I was very proud of her and so later on, I thanked her. I said, thank you for being honest. I said, because I was really traumatized and I was, I, I didn't have a good weekend. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I just wasn't myself when I did my video this weekend. And um, I just, I didn't have it in me. Um, I was mopey. I was kind of like edgy, stressful. And, you know, I was hoping that it would come out truthful and it did. So honesty. Now, I have lost a lot of viewers for being honest about my opinions, my thoughts, and bringing things to reality. And I don't quite understand that unless people are very insecure about themselves. If you are an insecure person and you cannot handle reality or truth or honesty by someone else, I don't know what to tell you. Because when I introduced myself early on, my very first introduction, I told you, I will say exactly what's on my mind and I will let you know. Um, and if you comment on my on my videos, I will comment back. I'm not going to filter anything. 
I don't even know why some of my comments get lost and then I try to find them and I can't and it's crazy but I've noticed that my viewers have gone down and I would like for you to share and, su and subscribe if you do watch um, and the reason being is because if we can hit 100 I'm going to send out a Penelope box and a Penelope box is very unique and I would really like to do that for someone um, so 100 subscribers a Penelope box <laughs> so anyway talking about honesty um, I, I am just super honest I, I've never been able to be a good liar or put on a facade that I'm someone else that I am not um, I can go into a very classy situation because that is how I was raised but it's not me uh, me as dirty fingernails ball cap a little bit of eyeliner other than that I don't need the fancy stuff but anyway honesty is great and once again I would like to say thank you to that lady who was very honest at work because I was terrified that I was going to be in trouble because I shouldn't have been. Okay, now, look here guys, some peppers and a tomato out of my garden. I'm going to tell you what, these little suckers right here, these are the Hungarian wax hot peppers and let me tell you, okay, they're not a ghost pepper, they're not a scotch bonnet, they're not a habanero, but these suckers right here, oh yeah, they're hot, they're hot. <laughs> I struggled eating one last night with my pizza. You can even smell the heat on them. But they have a great flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to string these up and dry them, grind them, put them in a shaker, and then we're going to have our own pepper flakes with our garden. This is about the size of my tomatoes this year. They're not very big. And my peppers, I had to start pulling peppers off because they were getting too big and I wanted them to grow more peppers. So. We got peppers, we have tomatoes. <laughs> but all my seedlings are starting and I put them into the thing. I tried to film, oh my goodness, I spilled my coffee. Ah! I tried to film, oh my goodness, that's just like really bad here. I tried to film my garden and the sun just wouldn't work with me and the shadows wouldn't work with me. So it was very hard, nothing would happen. Now, I didn't get my um, Kroger ad yet this week in the, in the um, mailbox, but I did get my personalized um, saving, best customer, um, personalized savings coupons from Kroger, and I spilt my coffee on them. <laughs> um, and I did get a couple of really good ones. Well, several good ones that I will definitely use is there's a free one private selection bread. I absolutely love their bread. I think they're great. So I will get one of those loaves that are normally $1.88 and I'll get it for free. Um, there's also a $3 off of 15 items frozen department. Thought I heard my phone. Now I'm hearing things. I've got 85 cents off of two of the Kroger shredded or bar cheese. And this weekend, they're going to be 99 cents on Friday, Saturday. Oh, yeah. 85 cents makes one almost free, right? Okay. A um, dollar ten on the Kroger rolled ground beef. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that one comes on soon. And then there's a few other ones here that are pretty good, but not exciting. There is a dollar fifty off of three Red Baron pizza. <laughs> what the hell? I really need that one again. Okay. There's a few good ones in there, and that's all that matters. <laughs> hey, I spilled coffee on the bill. That's good. Okay, so what else are we going to talk about? Well, last, let's see, the week before last, on a Thursday night, my husband and I get a call from a neighbor at work. Well, actually, the supervisors go to each one because we're in different departments. Um, the supervisor went to my husband, my supervisor went to my husband's supervisor, my husband's supervisor went to him, my husband came and found me. Um, our propane tank that we had just gotten filled 
the Friday before was spewing out the top at home. The liquid part was going around the tank. It was spewing out the top. And now I'm into the understanding that it was a pressure release valve of some sort. So that way, I guess when they get filled and then the heat starts expanding the gas, it will release out of that. Okay, so I'm panicked. I call the neighbor from work. I walk out <laughs> and I walk outside. I'm using the phone and they're freaking out. All my neighbors are huddled at one house down the street and they're all watching this come out of my propane tank. I'm like, okay. So I look at the husband. I look at his supervisor. I look at my supervisor. I'm like, we're gone. We're gone. We have to leave. We have to take care of this. Well, his supervisor says, well, can't one of you take care of it and then come back? Or once you take care of it, you guys can come back. Okay, this is 7 o'clock in the evening. We get off work at 10, 10, 20. It takes us about 20, 25 minutes to get to work and back. That's all I'm going to say about that, okay? So we pull into the driveway. It has simmered down. First thing I do is I send him to the tank. I walk in. I start making phone calls. Okay, so I'm making the phone calls with the propane people. Propane people say, well, it was just the release valve. Everything will be okay. We'll send someone out in the morning. Or we'll call you back. Okay, so I'm home. It's like 8 o'clock at night. My husband's in the house. I've got him with the telephone. I'm out there in the garden. I'm pulling weeds. I've never pulled weeds fast in my life. I'm stressed. I'm afraid. I didn't know what was going on. I could kind of see the get. I could see the propane tank from where I was at. <laughs> so... I walk in the house, I'm like, hey. I was like, well, when are they going to be here? He's like, they're not. I said, what? They're not going to be here. Okay. So, they're going to come out in the morning. I was like, okay, fine. He says it was just the release valve. Everything's fine. Blah, 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 blah. So, that Friday morning, I'm outside. Here comes the guy. <laughs> he checks it out. He says, it'll be okay. Um, we noticed that the gauge is messed up. I said, yeah. I said, the guy that delivered the gas said that the gauge was messed up and we probably needed a new tank, but it would be okay. He says, well, it's going to be okay. He says, it won't do that again. Okay, Friday, we're at work, and apparently it was doing it again. Instead of my neighbors calling us out of work, which was, thank you, because I couldn't do that again, because we got pointed. We got pointed, and we lost pay, and both of us have extremely impeccable attendance, so we lost our bonuses for the quarter. So we lost our bonuses, we lost three and a half hours of pay, and we got pointed. Okay? Horrible situation. So anyway, that Friday night, apparently it did it again, and the neighbors called the gas company. We get home, we had no idea. The neighbors are sitting on the porch, and they're like, you've got a new gas tank, they haven't hooked it up yet. But they were here, and they set it up at 9 o'clock at night with their headlamps. <laughs> they had little headlamps on, I guess. Okay. So the next day, um, I called, and they said they wouldn't be out until Monday. I said, fine. I said, it has to be sometime. So whatever. They did not get it turned on until the following Thursday. Okay? So I had no cooking gas until that Thursday. Well, I called the manager and I'm like listen I was like this is what happened we've lost money we've lost points now I'm trying to cook on this charcoal grill which I did okay I did okay we ate some microwavable meals we did some we did some stuff we ate we were good um so he says well what we'll do is we'll just take half the bill I'm like that's cool I said that's cool because that's about as much money as we lost we're good to go. Yesterday, in the mail, I get a bill for $1,700 and some dollars, which is two fill-ups, plus um, two tax and a test, a leak test. But it says negative $1,700 and some dollars. It says what's owed? Zero. So, 
If something like that happens to you, do not ever be afraid to call and let them know that what they have done has caused you to lose. Don't go in for a whole a whole loss because that's not true. Whatever makes you whole, okay? So what made us whole caused them to make it better. So we've gotten our whole season of propane for free. We only get one fill up a year, so guess what? We don't have to pay for propane this year. I am totally just blown away by it. But here are some things to always note. If someone says something is not quite right, always keep note of it, mental note of it. Because when the guy came to fill the propane, he told me, the gauge isn't very good, this is an older tank, you might want to think about, let's get it changed over. He said that at delivery. And then less than one week later, my tank is spewing two nights in a row. So it initially started with that. The man should have checked the gauge and said, I'm not filling this and I would have been fine. So let's go ahead and you guys do what you got to do and then we'll fill it up when you get the new tank in, whatever. We would have been okay because we're not running the furnace and I can cook on the grill. I can cook in the microwave. We're fine. We got plenty of food. We're good to go. So anyway, no propane cost this year. So just a little note, if things like that happen, do not ever be afraid to point that out to people because sometimes they're liable for a little bit more than what you may think. Because had someone flicked a cigarette out both nights, the Thursday night and the Friday night while it was spewing, my little neighborhood would have had an explosion. Had the neighbor decided to go ahead and mow grass or use the weed eater or do anything out there, we would have had an explosion. Now, I know that's a little dramatic, but it's a possibility because the guy told me that it wasn't going to spew again, and it did. Okay, so there you go. Now, Kroger this week, I know there's some really good extra deals going on. Um, there's some BOGO deals, buy one, get one freeze. Now, in my area, you can use two coupons for those BOGOs, so use them up because I think that's pretty cool. Um, that just, it, it rings up half off on both products. You don't even have to buy both products. You can buy one of the products, use a coupon, and you if you only need one, get one. But <laughs> why would you do that if you got two coupons? So anyway, you all have a blessed day. Um, go to Ohio Valley Couponer. He already has the ad. I don't have it. I was going to go through it a little bit, but it's not out in the mail, and I really need to get some more stuff done. I've been in the garden today. I've been in my stockpile room today. Some people made some orders. I've got a big donation to a family going out today. I've got to finish loading the car on that one. Lots of... There's the phone. You all have a great day. Bye.